Good morning, everyone. Our first reading today reminds us that history repeats itself. As we read this story about Ahab and Jezebel plotting to take the vineyard from Naboth, think about what we are learning or reading about in the news regarding our country's past and how the lands here in Canada were settled. Of all the kings, Ahab was known as the worst king. He married a Canaanite woman called Jezebel, and together they instituted the worship of the Canaanite Baal. Ahab was known for abusing his royal powers, and his taking of the vineyard from Naboth was no exception. Naboth, on the other hand, was a very kind and God-fearing man. Naboth recognized the land he was on had been given to his family for years, and the land was a gift from God. Naboth took care of his inheritance by guarding the land and looking after it. Let us pray the prayer of illumination. O oh God, lover of humanity and joy of creation, pour out your spirit on us that we may hear your ancient words in a new key. Inspire us to sing your praise in every land and with every generation. Through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. This morning's first Bible reading is 1 Kings chapter 21, reading from verses 1 to 10. And this can be found on page 286 in your Red Pew Bible. Later the following events took place. Naboth, the Jezreelite, and the, and the vineyard in Jezreel, beside the palace of King Ahab in Samaria. And Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard, so that I may have it for my vegetable garden, because it is near to my house. I will give you a, a better vineyard for it, or, if it seems good to you, I'll give you its value in money. But Naboth said to Ahab, The Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral inheritance. Ahab went home, resentful and sullen of what Naboth the Jezreelite had said to him. For he had said, I will not give you my ancestral inheritance. He lay down on his bed and turned away his face and would not eat. His wife Jezebel came to him and said, Why are you so depressed and what you will not eat? He said to her, Because I spoke to Naboth the Jezreelite and said to him, Give me your vineyard for money, or else, if you prefer, I will give you another vineyard for it. But he answered, I will not give you my vineyard. His wife Jezebel said to him, Do you not govern Israel? Get up, eat some food, and be cheerful. I will give you the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name and sealed them with his seal. She sent the letters to the elders and the nobles who lived with Naboth in a city. She wrote in the letters, Proclaim a fast and seat Naboth at the head of the assembly. Seat two scoundrels opposite him and have them bring a charge against him, saying, You have cursed God and the king, then take him out and stone him to death. Now, moving to our second reading today in the New Testament, and this is taken from Galatians chapter 3, verses 23 to 29, and this can be found on page 947 in your Red Pew Bible. A little bit about this passage in that we're reading Paul's letters to the Galatians. Paul is reminding everyone of God's promise to Abraham and that Jesus is an offspring of Abraham. And Paul's reminding everyone that we are one large multi-ethnic family relating to him on the basis of faith. Now reading from verses 23 to 29. Now before faith came, we are imprisoned and guarded under the law until faith would be revealed. Therefore the law was our disciplinarian until Christ came, so that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer subject to a disciplinarian. For in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. As many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male or female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's offsprings, heirs according to the promise. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. 